There is a stigma around exercise that it's not for us as black people. In order to reverse it, we have to reverse that narrative. I started my journey in the professional industry in dance. And I had this incredible career that led me all the way to the Super Bowl field with Beyonce. The dance industry made me reevaluate where I was with my mental health. I quickly transitioned into something else that fed my physical impulses and, and fitness was the answer. The former professional dancer now wants to change the rules for the fitness industry and make it more diverse for the next generation. The black community itself faces several challenges in terms of fitness and wellness. When I was living out in California, I had access to go to any boutique fitness studio that I wanted to. But as I travel through our black communities and don't see that around us, like it also stands in the way of us being able to be healthier. Gyms are more likely to be in affluent areas where populations are mostly white. In response to the inequity, Riley founded Deja Riley Athletics. When I choose a brand to partner with, like Lululemon, like Amir, and like some of the other companies that I've partnered with in the past, it's extremely important to me that we stand for the same things. That is a huge part of my process, and if that means that I am partnering with less people, then so be it. Riley also launched Sweaty Smile Squad, a community focused on inclusivity, body positivity, and mental wellness. As I stand in the role that I'm in, I think it is very important work to continue to raise mental health awareness in the black communities, as well as the relationship between fitness and mindfulness. It's not oftentimes fused with high intensity work, like dance and boxing and kickboxing and cardio and strength. Only 5.7% of US fitness instructors are black. I've experienced so many difficulties, so many challenges, but the ones that stick out to me the most, one being tokenism. I think oftentimes I see myself in a space in a sea of all of these professionals and I am one of one. So I challenge the gatekeepers of the fitness industry to look at their rosters, look at their internal structure. Are you just copying and pasting what you think the fitness industry or fitness professional should look like? Or are you really doing the work? And I think there are a lot of positive changes that we've seen. I am a positive change. I am a black woman. I have braids. I have tattoos all over my hands. And I'm not the obvious choice, but yet here I am. And I love the changes that we're starting to see just throughout the fitness industry, throughout pop culture, really acknowledging that black people are trendsetters and innovators. And when we step into a space, we really put that cool stamp on it. That is happening in real time in the fitness and health and wellness space, and I'm here for it. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.